Good morning, everyone. This is Louis-François, CTO and co-founder of Towards AI, and today we are going to explore a must-know for any AI developers and even no-code users, multi-agent systems. You've probably used a chatbot before, maybe gpt 4 o or even a cloud model. But what if I told you there's something even more capable out there? Something that can not only talk with you, but also act autonomously to get things really done. That's what we are covering today with agents, or what we also call agentic AI. So what is agentic AI? It's more than just a chatbot. It's about AI that doesn't just respond to you, but can actually take action and make decisions to complete tasks without human intervention. I'll give you some concrete example of this in just a minute. But what's the coolest is that it used to require code to build such systems, as in the meta GPT paper I covered a few months ago. Now, thanks to Integral, an amazing tool and sponsor of this video, you can create complex multi-agent systems and even evaluate them without a single line of code. I'll show you how in a few minutes. But before diving deeper into agentic AI, let's understand what a multi-agent system is. It's simply about having multiple agents, each with their own specialty, collaborating to solve complex problems. Think of it like a group of experts. Each one excels at a specific part of a project, and together, they are able to achieve much more than any one individual could. Okay, but why do we need multi-agent systems at all? Well, one word, automation. These more complex systems can handle multiple tasks at once, like sending emails, organizing data, and interacting with external services, all simultaneously. Let's say you want to automate your entire workflow, from email management to posting social media content. A multi-agent system can coordinate all these activities without needing you to constantly provide instructions. It's basically like a more powerful version of ChatGPT, connecting it with various tools and capabilities it doesn't have, and being able to use adapted large language models for each task. This kind of capability is hard for a standard GPT chatbot to match, as those typically handle one response at a time. Here, agents can integrate with tools like ClickUp to generate images, or even work with other AI models to make your life easier. For instance, gpt 4 o excels at handling multimodal interactions and real-time voice processing, while Quen 1.5 is perfect for lightweight customer support tasks due to its ability to handle multiple languages efficiently, or using Cloud for coding and writing, which is my personal favorite these days. It shows how different models have different strengths, and this is essential to maximize in a multi-agent system. Another example is using a smaller model like 4o Mini for easier tasks or Gemini 1.5 Pro for managing large data contexts, which allows the multi-agent system to process entire books or large data sets effectively. Since you have multiple agents, you can use various LLMs for each task to reduce costs and delay and maximize performance, which can only be done in such systems. But of course, you'll want to be cautious about possible issues such as the increased chance of hallucination when multiple agents interact. We'll get into that later in the video after our nice demo. You may recall previous videos where I covered React and MetaGPT, both of which are powerful frameworks for creating these powerful multi-agent systems. Let's briefly revisit these to provide more context on how they can be applied today. React Developed as a method that combines reasoning and acting is incredibly effective for multi-agent systems that require both logical thinking and practical actions. For example, an agent using React can break down a user request into reasoning steps before deciding what action to take, which makes it more reliable in situations that demand careful decision making. By integrating React, multi-agent systems can play more thoroughly, reducing mistakes compared to reactive-only agents. MetaGPT, on the other hand, is like having a team of GPTs that specialize in different areas and can interact to solve more complex tasks collaboratively through formatted outputs. MetaGPT is ideal when different parts of a task need distinct expertise. For example, if you are managing a product launch, MetaGPT agents can split responsibilities. One agent can generate marketing content, while another focuses on technical documentation. This kind of cooperative agent structure makes agentic systems significantly more powerful than a single LM can. 
and here's how we can easily do one ourselves. In this demo, I'll try to replicate my work with a multi-agent system, or at least a part of it. As you know, I often cover new papers and techniques in the field on a channel. A part of what I do is to post on LinkedIn and Twitter to summarize the key insights from the papers. It requires me to read the paper, understand what the researchers did, if it's really relevant, and synthesize it all into clear bullet points or a nice summary. Of course, ChatGPT can do a good job at it if you send the paper, but it often requires multiple back and forths. Then, we want to have a version for LinkedIn and another for Twitter to work with threads of maximal length. It can be done again with ChatGPT, but it still requires more back and forth. And then we'd probably like a nice, cute and funny image. Why not? Again, more back and forth with DALI or another image generator of your choice. Instead, I replicated this process in one multi-agent workflow that simply needs the PDF as input and generates the rest individually. Here, I just put the text for simplicity, but you can build a system that is as complex as you want. It goes through the first agent, extracts the relevant text from the paper. Here, you can of course give it a more advanced prompt and examples to show how I usually do, which has been very annoying to do manually with ChatGPT in the past. Then, we have three other agents in charge of making the post and the images with specific prompts each. Again, here you could provide more detail and examples to improve results as with ChatGPT, but here it will be a once and for all edit. Obviously, it's a super basic version, and the prompts will require work and fine tuning, just as with ChatGPT. But you can see how, with just one click, I can get all I need. I don't even need to prompt it anymore, and I didn't code a single line to do that. This is a pretty cool system, and an even cooler platform to build those. They then allow you to deploy the system and create an API out of it, all without any code knowledge, which you could then provide to your developers or connect it to a website. Now, it's crucial to remember that customization is key when building these systems. Each agent should have a well-defined role, and when you integrate with platforms like Integral, ensure you've tested it thoroughly, which is the topic of our second video with Integral. Over-automation can be tempting, but human oversight is still crucial, especially in high-stakes environments or even small things like social media posts. People can see it's been generated. We feel it. It needs to be manually edited and improved to match your personality, ideas, jokes, and quirks. Here are some practical tips I found over time. First, define clear boundaries for each agent. It's easy for roles to overlap, which can lead to inefficiencies or worse, conflicting actions. Clearly define the scope of each agent task. For example, Gemini 1.5 Pro can be used for large-scale data interpretation, and Cloud 3.5 can be used for user interaction-focused roles. It's just like many humans don't ask multiple questions at once, or else they will forget to answer some of them. Likewise, with agents, you want to split the tasks as best as possible. Second, monitor hallucinations across agents. When multiple language models collaborate, there's a risk of hallucination scaling. When one model's misinformation gets passed on and escalated. To mitigate this, use React's reasoning framework, which allows each agent to validate its output before another agent takes over. You should also implement humans in the loop where it's important. And this is the third step. Multiple agent systems can be prone to errors, especially in sensitive applications like financial transactions or healthcare. Always incorporate humans in critical decisions to ensure safety and reliability. Then, test integration rigorously. Particularly with a multi-agent setup, testing integration points between agents is essential. Use tools like Integral to simulate various workflows and ensure agents interact smoothly. We'll see that in the next video on the channel. And lastly, avoid over-automation. It's tempting to automate every task, but remember that some processes benefit from human judgment or human taste and personality, such as the social media posts. For example, customer support can use Quen 1.5 to provide instant answers, but complex issues should be escalated to a human to ensure accuracy and empathy. Always handle data with care, particularly with systems that interact with sensitive information. For instance, gpt 4 o and Llama 3.1 have integrated moderation tools that can help flag sensitive content. But anonymization features like those in Integral are still crucial for privacy compliance. So just remember, 
As cool as all of this is, there are always trade-offs. Hallucination, over-automation, and privacy issues need to be handled with care. If you enjoyed this deep dive into agentic AI, make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you try out Integral. I really love the tool and love the team even more. I definitely recommend checking it out. I linked it in the first link in the description as they have a nice free tier to try building your multi-agent systems like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.